It's a rainy sort of work day, so my mother-in-law and I are going to go into town and go to a wine tasting just to experience some of Solomon's Island while the men stay back and work on the boats. Okay, here we are. Rainy, rainy day. Yeah. Here we go. Isn't that funny? Alright, we are tasting wines and this is tropical fruit Pinot Grigio which has a coconut flavor. So let's see. Oh my gosh, that's really good. <laughs> ago uh, we were sailing along and it was actually when we had dill and mill flying and then we were caught in a really bad storm and a lot of stuff was going bad at that moment so one of the things that happened is we actually had a galley fire now galley fires are no joke because boats especially fiberglass boats are built using dry wood for the joinery and then fiberglass for the hull now fiberglass will burn so hot and so fast and you have all this nice kindling right around the fiberglass to make sure that it catches fire. So galley fires are just very dangerous. And we always keep a couple fire extinguishers handy. In our case, we have a bag of trash and we also have two fire extinguishers just here, just in case we need them. Luckily we had them on hand because we did need them. Uh, we try to always have a CO2 fire extinguisher. That way if we have to put out a fire, it doesn't also make a huge mess in the boat. Because the dry chemical, yes, it puts the fire out and you get to have your boat still, but it covers everything in this dust and it's just impossible to clean it all out. So what ended up happening, the damage from the fire was inside here, it's a minor damage. Uh, the label got charred and burnt a little, but more importantly, the slides that you use to control the fire itself on this one got burnt and actually melted because they're made of plastic. So you can see there's a damper here, it's like a little plate, and when I slide this thing, it opens and closes how much fire, uh, or how much the flame can come out of the, the wick. So fully open, you have a nice big fire, and then you close it to turn it off. Well, over here on this side, when you hit the thing, nothing really happens because uh, the fire came up, actually melted this a little bit, but more importantly, completely melted off the plastic piece that goes here. So now we don't have a way to act as a proper interface to this damper here. So, what I'm gonna do, being a dentist, I'm going to take an impression of this piece and then we'll cast it in a really strong acrylic. It's polymethyl methacrylate. It's uh, actually very similar to the same material they use to make fake fingernails. So it's a really strong acrylic. And then hopefully we'll be able to reattach it over here and 
that'll give us control of both burners once again. Looking here, you can see this is our good one, which did suffer a little bit of damage from the fire. And this is the one that got severely burned and melted. So this guy no longer engages with that little uh, metal lever, so therefore it can't pull the damper open and closed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take an impression of this one, and then we'll cast it in the polymethylmethacrylate, and then we'll simply have a new one of these, and we can attach it to the slide, and hopefully the stove will work again. So on my dad's boat, I'm going to make another one of these guys. So I'm gonna be using jet acrylic. Uh, it's what we use to make temporary crowns, so it's really strong. And it's a polymethylmethacrylate. And it's two parts. So you got the liquid, the monomer, and then the polymer uh, powder. So we're gonna use those guys. So we're gonna be using those guys and to make the impression of the piece that's you know, having its issue, we're gonna take the new one, or the good one, and I'm going to take an impression of it using the same stuff we use to take impressions in the mouth. So that's the whole plan. So let's get working. The first thing we did was make a base to hold the impression itself. So we'll put this little guy in here and this will help to hold the uh, impression material. Alright, let's let that set. Now that it's set up a bit more, I'm going to take a thin instrument and simply go along and clean off all these sides. That way we can slide it out a lot easier. Here we have the impression of the plastic piece that we need to recreate. So I'm simply going to fill this up with the polymethylmethacrylate and we'll make our new little slide. The acrylic is now hardened and it's nice and firm, like I can't get my fingernail to dig into it or anything. So we're gonna pop it out of the mold and shape it up from there. And this is what we pulled out of there. So I'm just going to trim off all the flashing and then we'll attach this to the stove through the screw hole there that I need to open up again and then we'll have a new piece. So after a bit of work I converted our original one that didn't get destroyed in the fire into a replica using acrylic. Now the intricate side with all these details that I did with the impression, the back side I had to do that with a file. So I simply cut out the inside and then ground it down and shaped it up. So now we're gonna go try it in, see if it fits and make any adjustments as needed. With the new piece fitted on, we're able to slide it from open all the way to off. So that means we can go from off to full fire and back to off, just like on the other side. So now we have use of both burners once again. So we've had a nice relaxing day. Maddie went out with my mom and went to a great wine place and got some delicious wine. I stayed here with my dad and we talked and did a couple projects. It's just been a really relaxing, calm day. Yeah, it's been really nice here in Solomons. Even though it's been raining, we've kind of, we split up. Yeah. did lady things and man things <laughs> and Herbie who doesn't like wine is actually enjoying the pumpkin wine that I got yeah I, I think wine is disgusting <laughs> and this is just delicious <laughs> we're gonna have a movie night so we're eating steak and salad and cornbread and then we are watching the life of Brian
by our dear friends, Monty Python. Yes. <laughs> so our parents came out and uh, they wrapped it up with us. So now we're having some time on their boat and we get to visit with them. Oh, yeah, sure. Mm, steaks. Wait. We all have giant steaks. Steak, beautiful steak. Four steaks on our plates. <laughs> Next time on Sailing Wisdom, it's a beautiful day, so we're able to dinghy over to shore where we bike to the Calvert Maritime Museum and explore a screw pile lighthouse. Thanks so much for watching. And if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much.